Hey guys, what's going on? This is Andrew here today, and I'm going to basically be doing an unboxing of the PS5 All Digital Edition system. So, uh, if you guys have been watching my channel for a decent amount of time, you would have seen one of my videos where I basically showed off that I had a digital PS5, but here was the thing. I bought that one for my friend. Basically, the situation was I got it and I told him whenever he has the money for it, that's when I'd ship it to him. I had the system for about two months, only played it once and kept it in the box for the most part, just waiting to ship it. So when I eventually did send it out to him, uh, I did feel a little bit of regret sending it out because I am a collector and I like having uh, multiple systems, especially multiple editions of a system. So considering GameStop had just done a restock of the PS5, we had a decent amount of physical consoles. I work at GameStop and we pretty much sold no digitals throughout the entire day, except one that um, we sold somewhere earlier in the day on one of the days I was working. So once one of them was sold, something in my head just like clicked and was just like, you know what? I miss my digital PS5. I think I'm going to get one because it actually gave me a pretty cool idea. I honestly want to see what it's like to go full digital for an entire month. So I'm not going to start this full digital thing right away. Lego Star Wars is coming out and I have a physical copy of that pre-ordered. So I want to play that first. But after a certain amount of time, I want to spend an entire month going all digital because I have the Xbox Series S as well, as well as the Xbox. I'm going to use the Series S. And on top of that, I'm going to use my PS5 digital. And at some point, I'm going to get back on you guys about my experience doing that. Because let's be honest, I haven't actually gone full digital since I first built my PC in 2014 before I got my game consoles, which before I had no game consoles to myself. So... It's been a very, very long time since I've been an all-digital player. I figure now would be a really cool time to try that challenge. So without further ado, guys, let's get into unboxing this PS5. All right, guys, so this is the PS5 box right here. Unfortunately, this thing is way too big for any of my desks for me to do a proper unboxing on, so I am doing it on my floor, which means you're going to be seeing me a little bit, so I'm going to try to stay out of the way of the camera. So here's what we got right here. We have the PS5 right here. There's a little plastic slot that I had already opened just because it's a pain to get that off on camera sometimes. So simply, this box isn't really much. It's actually just a box inside of a box. So what happens next is I can just move the PS5 box out of here, forget it exists. That's my PRP sticker on the top of the box. I hope that didn't get caught in the camera. If not, I'll have to do a special edit. But regardless, uh, that box is out of the way. I did the one year protection on the PS5 just in case anything does happen, accidents happen, you never know. Plus on top of that, I want my coworker to uh, have a protection on because GameStop cares about numbers and hey, giving my coworker protection is also a nice thing to do. But regardless, um, let's open up this box and see what we're going to find. So believe it or not, even though I have a PS5, I've never actually opened up the new PS5 because my PS5 was from my friend who got from another friend. So this is actually my second PS5 this being my digital console. So uh, going like this, I'm just gonna go there, and there looks to be a box inside of a box inside of a box. So let's see what's in here. This, I'm gonna try to be delicate with it, but also very impatient. Move that out of the way for a second and see what's specifically in here. Just make sure the camera's picking this up. Camera is picking it up, okay. Inside here, it looks like we just got some manuals and stuff. Uh, just a ton of them actually. Um, take out both the manuals right here. Uh, looks to be uh, different language ones. So one's a quick start guide, one's a safety guide, it looks like. So I guess they're actually different. Didn't know that. Uh, in here, looks like we have the special stand that's in the plastic. This is basically what holds up the PS5, whether you want to do it horizontally or vertically. You don't necessarily 100% need the stand. I did use the PS5 without the stand for the longest time, not knowing that it was that important, but it's always good to use the stand. I'm probably going to stack this uh, vertically. There was a certain amount of time where I had it horizontally and it just did not look nice. So I'm gonna stack this one vert vertically just as well. Top of that, we have our HDMI 2.1 cable inside the box. Uh, this is necessary if you wanna do 4K at 120 Hertz uh, on any uh, 4K HDMI 2.1 TV. Then we got the power cable, which is basically uh, universal at this point. I mean, both the Xbox One, PS4, Xbox Series X, and PS5 uh, use this thing, and some older consoles as well, as well. I think the PS2 actually uses this thing as well, as well as the original Xbox. In here, uh, let's see what we got. It looks like we got a DualSense controller, which means that I now have way too many of these. And uh, basically, this is just 
standard DualSense. If you guys haven't seen it before, well, basically it's a bit thicker than the standard PS5, uh, standard PS4 controller. It's just regular. Uh, the main thing with this compared to the PS4 controller is it's got adaptive triggers. So, uh, depending on the gun that you have, will determine the sensitivity of uh, the triggers when going. So if you're shooting like a bow, you'll feel like there's some tension, which is pretty cool. I will say I'm not a major fan of this controller, but I do have like, I think this is now my fourth PS5 controller. So, um, and then in here, hiding from me, uh, there looks to be the thing that charges the PS5 controller, as well as the cable that you need in order to connect it uh, to the PS5 from the initial startup. So obviously you can have another USB-C cable, but if you don't have one, one lying around, let's hope that you can find this one. Uh, USB-C is the new standard on PS5 and Series X. It used to be micro USB, and I'm very happy that they swayed away from that. So, yeah, that's everything in that little compartment of the box. Let's go and take out uh, the next thing from the box, which is more than likely just going to be the PS5 since we got every other major accessory out. So, with that in the camera, basically, I'm going to just pull it down right here. This looks to be cardboard for the console itself. And what do you know? We just got our PS5 that's wrapped inside of this thing, protected by these little holders to make sure it doesn't shake. So, of course, I hit the ground with the PS5 like a dumb person, but whatever. I don't think it did any damage, especially because it's wrapped in this. Uh, believe it or not, I haven't seen the PS5 in white in a while because the skin that I have is are the black plates. I got the black plates uh, when Sony officially uh, announced them, and then I put them on pre-order, and now my PS5 is black, so... Seeing this thing in white is going to look kind of weird to me again because I haven't seen it like this in a while. But we got the PS5 All Digital Edition. So um, this is the console right here. You can choose to hold it up like this or you can choose to hold it horizontally like this. It doesn't really matter. I ch choose to have it this way with the stand. And basically, uh, just the only thing that's different between this and the standard PS5 as well. There is no disk drive, so it's a fully digital PS5, which, as much as I'm not a big fan of digital systems because I like the convenience of disk, I really think this is going to be a cool thing to try out. So, we now have my PS5 all digital out of the box. Uh, I'd say let's just get into the final topic of this video. All right, guys, so I officially set up the digital PS5 right next to where I have all my PC stuff and some of the other consoles that I use for Guitar Hero. So my plan is that eventually, or probably in the next few days, that's when I'm going to be starting the all digital month thing I was going to try. I'm basically just going to avoid all my disc consoles. I mean, I'm going to play Lego Star Wars when that comes out. So soon after that, that's when I'm going to basically be uh, starting the all digital month. So I decided to put the digital PS5 in here rather than my main room because in the end, this is where it's going to stay. It is my secondary console. My main console is the disc PS5 because I'm a physical collector. So the digital PS5 is always going to stay in here. So this is where I'm going to be playing it uh, from the all digital month as well as pretty much from now on as well when I feel like using this as my secondary console. So it is worth noting that I didn't just get this PS5 as a standalone. As some of you guys may know, uh, GameStop sells the consoles in bundles. Us GameStop employees are no exception to this rule. If we're buying the PS5, we also have to get it in a bundle. So basically, the bundle that I chose, because there were a few options, there was, I think, one option with a $100 gift card and a $75 gift card, as well as PlayStation Plus. But there was another option where you actually could get an SSD in that bundle. So... I got this one not for my digital PS5. This is actually going in the standard PS5, but I figured this I figured this would be a good opportunity just to get an excuse to finally expand the storage on one of my consoles because I've wanted to do that for a while. So I chose this essentially replacing the $175 in PlayStation credit. It also gave me a year of PlayStation Plus, so I was able to expand on that. I really only use PlayStation Plus for the free games at this point. I barely play multiplayer, so that's what's really keeping me on the subscription. Plus, I'm probably eventually going to upgrade to uh, that new thing that they're doing that's kind of competing with Game Pass in a way. Not exactly the same thing, but still somewhat competing. Uh, eventually, I'm probably going to upgrade to that. So at least that got the one-year thing out of the way, but I also got my SSD, and that's going to be my main PS5. So it's also worth noting that I actually didn't get my discount on this console. So I pretty much saved no money on anything except for the uh, protection plan that I put on this thing because we do get a, a little bit of a discount on those. So on new consoles, employees don't get uh, any kind of discounts, and we... I didn't even get it on the SSD either, so I honestly actually didn't get my discount on any of this stuff. So I didn't save any money. I basically spent what a normal consumer would be 
uh, spending for a PS5. Now we do get uh, we do get our discount on pre-owned systems, so I did get my discount on my original uh, PS5 digital. But hey, that just goes to show how much I actually wanted this thing. I was willing to just pay full price with the bundle. So a lot of the excuse for me to get this PS5 was also the fact that it came with the SSD, like I said before. I also really like the way that the digital box looks. I honestly like that look better than the uh, standard PS5 box, so I also wanted that for my collection. It's a stupid reason, but that was another reason for it. So I'll keep you guys updated on when I'm going to be starting that digital all month thing I was talking about. Uh, it will probably be just a post that I talked about in the community tab. Don't get me wrong, I will still get retro games. I'll probably still play retro games and all that stuff, but um, the main thing that I'm focusing on for next gen is going to be going all digital, and that way I'm basically using it as my main systems rather than the Series X. So all digital means I'm basically going to be using my digital PS5, I'm going to use my Series S, and I'm going to use my gaming PC and my gaming laptop as well. So yeah, guys, uh, I kind of went on a little bit of a ramble, uh, a rambling spree, but it's perfectly fine. Uh, we did the unboxing. You guys now saw uh, the PS5 digital, if you haven't before. And hey, that's the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next one.